What's going on, people? So, it's kind of weird in a way, because I told myself last time, like, I'm going to start doing these reviews a little more consistently, like I used to do back in the olden times. And here it is, like, the 29th of May, and I'm just now sitting down doing my first review of the month. Pretty sure, anyways. Right? Might be wrong, but I feel like I'm not. And, of course, since it's been a while, I thought, like, well, I should come out with, like, something that's something people have been looking forward to, right? You know, one of those like highly anticipated shoes of the spring summer season. And then I just bought these sevens instead. So that's what we're here to talk about. Now, if you're curious about whatever shoes I have coming up over the next, like however long I spread out these reviews over, well, if you follow me over on Lake Ram, then you know what all I have coming up. And you'll know that mostly none of it fits that description. So don't expect anything too crazy over the next while. Just, you know, I mean, if you like watching what I do, then you're in for that, I guess. But if you're looking for something amazing, I mean, hold off until you see like a good thumbnail come along or something. Either way, side of the box right there for you, for people that like to see that stuff. I'm pretty sure I got these from Nike. That sounds right, because I don't remember putting in too much work to get them or anything. So I'm going to go with that, right? And they were an easy one to come by. You know, got my order in there. I don't even know if it was a draw or whatever, but I was like one of the few people that bought them, which is fine, you know, it happens a lot when you're me. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about these. What is this? This is the Jordan 7 in the Sapphire and something else colorway. So I'm not sure exactly what Sapphire is, you know, honestly, but it's one of the colors on here. I'm going to guess it's probably this one that makes up the most of the shoe, but I don't know. I don't really care a whole lot either. I just like 7s. Anyways, let's start with the bottom. Down there across the bottom, what you're looking at, it's pretty much like your standard Jordan 7 style, right? It does have, kind of have like this little translucent sort of thing going on and it's got some decent colors to it. One of those might even be sapphire. So there's that for you. Moving on up here to like the midsole and all that good stuff, catching from the side angle and whatnot. More or less what you had on, on the bottom, kind of, sort of, but you know, you got a little bit more of this like speckled stuff going on and some arches or pyramids or whatever this is called. I don't know. I don't know much about sevens or what sparks the design of them. Again, I just kind of like stuff based on how it looks, right? I don't care about all that backstory stuff for the most part. Every now and then it can be interesting. I just don't seek it out. Now, giving you guys like some pictures of like this whole overall thing or whatever so you can kind of see what's really going on here. I mean, you probably got it from like the first little bit of me holding this here and the fact that she has been out for like a month or something now. But in case you haven't seen any of that stuff, that's what those two pictures are for. Anyways, there's also going to be like a lot more pictures in this video because that's just kind of how I get through this, right? But let's go ahead, get some more of those pictures in here and talk about some things. So down here around this here toe box area, right? Now, I'm not quite sure what material this is. I've seen some people say new buck. I've seen some say leather. I don't even know what the difference is, but you got that going on in whatever color this might be. And then switching over here slightly more to the, the side type area, kind of this little outline area. It's more of a lighter shade, you know? You got this. It feels largely the same. So whatever one is, that's probably what the other is. So you got that going on. And then down here in this little area between there, just a little more of that, what you saw in the toe box, right? So it's kind of like a peachish sort of color. I mean, I guess they both are in some ways, but you know what I'm saying. Either way. You got stuff going on there. And then this little outline piece, it kind of goes and it takes over like a lot of the shoe, obviously, with the exception being down here in the middle area where you've got this little screen door sort of situation going on for whatever reason, which is pretty similar to what you have going on up here. If you, if you slide up here to the top area where your ankle are, is, right? The ankle area is. You got this thing also going on, right? But the only difference being that you got the jump man up here. On the inside, you don't have the jump man, right? It's just kind of plain or whatever. So in case you're curious, he's only on the one side. But I think there was a picture that covered that already. Anyways, so you got that, right? You got some screen door type of thing going on. Down here in the black area, this is going to be some sort of like new bug type of thing. Or, you know, maybe it's the leather. I don't think it is, though, because I'm just looking at it. But either way, you got that going on, right? The visual is going to do more for you than my words. I know that, so you could probably watch this whole thing on mute and be just fine. Either way, down here on the bottom area, right, you got a lot more of what you had on the front. Same color, same material, all that stuff, right? So let's move on to the back. On the back end area, it's a lot of the typical 7 stuff, right? You got that sort of 
arrowhead thing going on with like the 23 in it. So there's that happening. Then above that, you've got this little pull tab type of whatever happening here. So there's that piece of it. And so that kind of sums up what's going on on the back end, right? So let's take a quick look back over to the front end, get some of this stuff knocked out, then we'll dip on down to the inside, see what's going on there. So starting with the laces and stuff, right? So the laces that you have on here, it's pretty similar color to what you saw on the bulk of the upper. Slightly different, but it's close to what you see in like the middle section anyways. And then that's going to be the same even down like the lace tips and all that. Very plain, but in this particular case, I think it works just fine. So there's that, just flat laces, nothing special. Now behind that, also nothing too special, but you do have this kind of nice colored mesh sort of thing going on. It almost feels like this, like what you see on like Hirachis and stuff like that in their tongue section, you know? So I do like it. And it's a pretty nice color, like I kind of said before. But anyways, that just kind of goes all the way up to the top. And then once you get to the top, you've got this Air Jordan thing going on in there, you know? So you got some white letters, some black letters, you know, you see the picture. I'm gonna move on from that. On the back end of it, right? On the back end of that tongue, which is very thin, you've got the little tag that you have often on the side of there, right? And so before we go getting deeper down onto the inside, one thing I will say is that this little, this little upper liner area here, in case you were curious, very thin, very thin, this leather piece or whatever. So not a whole lot going on to really like lock your ankle in up there. So in case you were thinking it was like that, it's not like that. Sorry to burst that bubble, but you know, maybe you needed to know that. Anyways, let's go ahead and look down on the inside here, right? So I can see what's going on and remember what I need to talk about. So this, this sock liner sort of thing, it's got this sock situation type of action happening or whatever, right? So similar, to, like I said a moment ago, to Hirachi's, right? So you got that and you can kind of see that that's where this whole double layer thing comes in, right? So it's kind of a cool design, at least in my opinion, but you know, yours may vary. Either way, as far as what's going on on the actual insole and stuff, mostly pink with a little bit of text, right? You probably guessed that because Jordan's shoes tend to be pretty plain when it comes to the insoles for the most part, right? Some of them do get a little special and a little fancy, but this one is neither of those things. So I believe that kind of covers everything, right? I'm going to say that it does because I'm thinking that it does. So let's just move on to the personal thoughts because that's usually what comes next. I bought these because I like Jordan 7s and I thought this was a fine color. Also, it's been a long, long while since I bought a pair of Jordan 7s and so I figured, you know what, let's go for these, right? I didn't think they looked amazing, but I thought let's see what they look like in hand because sometimes when you get things up close, they look a little better than you might think or sometimes a little bit, a little bit worse, right? And so I got these, I did the unboxing on, I think here on YouTube at some point, possibly. And I was, I wasn't blown away by them. And now that I've looked at them a little bit more and all that good stuff, because I was taking pictures earlier before this video, I'm still not blown away by them, but I'm cool with them. I think it's a fine looking piece of shoe and I am cool with it being in the collection, especially given the fact that I didn't have to really like try and go out of my way for it. Cause if I had to, then I'd probably feel a little worse about it because I put all that money and time I put into this and this is what I get. But I think they're fine, right? So to the other three people that may have bought a pair, how do you feel about them? But yeah, past that, like I said, sevens are just one of my favorite colors or one of my favorite models, one of my favorite three for Jordan brand anyway. And this one, it wasn't overly terrible. So I figured let's go ahead and see what's going on in person. I let I have them. Not bad, not bad at all. But anyways, that is that, right? So let's move on. Next part of this video is generally gonna be the sizing and the comfort and whatnot. So let's talk about sizing and comfort and whatnot. Now, these to me, I'll say that true to size is fine for most people, right? But here's the thing, right? These, and I'll compare to like a Jordan one or something, right? They both kind of have a similar sort of size going on, right? But the thing is, because of this whole sock thing that they have going on on the inside, it kind of takes away a little bit of the space, kind of like with Hirachis, again, or Jordan 9s, I believe, right? So some people might want to lean towards going up half a size, just because there's not as much room as you might think in here. Now, for me, I'm good with it, right? But that's not going to be the case for everybody. So depending on how you feel about your Jordan 1s, because again, that's just the comparison I'm going with, 
let that kind of be something that sways your opinion one way or the other. But again, something like this, because like nobody bought them, you could probably find them in stores possibly still and try a pair on, but go with that, do whatever you want to do with it, right? Now, moving on past the sizing and whatnot, as far as like the comfort and stuff goes, so midsole wise, it's nothing special, but you shouldn't expect anything special from something that's 30 years old. Apparently that's their 30th anniversary or something. Either way, it's not terrible, but I mean, it's not something that I would personally want to wear all day. You can, I guess, but one of the things that's gonna draw you back here, one of, one of the drawbacks to it, I should say, is that this upper is not gonna be the best thing for breathability in the summer months and whatnot, right? So you got that to think about. But if you're buying a pair of Jordans, lots of times you're buying them for the looks and stuff, so some of that stuff doesn't much matter. You just want to have whatever the thing is, right? And so if this is something you're looking for, cool, fantastic. If you're looking for it to be like the thing to wear, like the best pick for the day or whatever, you might want to rethink that piece of it. But past that, I think, you know, wearing them is fine, you know, just maybe not all day, you know, part of the day. So that's about it for me out of this. Like I'll maybe, I probably not though, but I might revisit this to some extent after I wear these to work or something, you know, put some hours in on them, see how I feel about them. But for right now, I feel like what I said is gonna be accurate. I haven't worn a pair of sevens in like forever. So I don't really have a whole lot to go by other than just walking around in this apartment earlier today. But there we go, I think we've done that. So we gotta move on to this um, pair of Yeezy runners, foam runners, easy foam runners, easy foam runners. I think that's what they're called. So I'm gonna do that. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Don't forget tonight, AEW Double or Nothing is coming on pay-per-view. So go ahead and watch that. Got a huge card going on. I think it's like their biggest card that they've had ever, possibly. They had to kick a few, couple people off the show or something. Either way, I got stuff to do. I'm going to do that stuff. Later, people.